So there's the finished product. Everything's in a different color, so you can easily see. You've got the case of the transistor, the NPN transistor, going to G. That's the green, the bright green wire. And then you've got a ground wire that's a dark green. And that goes to a ring connector to ground, to where the ground screw for the capacitor used to be, the condenser. And then you've got terminal 2. I think that's the emitter terminal, if I read that correctly. Yeah, the emitter terminal is going to ground. You can see it going to ground. And that also grounds the heat sink, which is the case of the thing there. So anyway, that's pretty much the finished product, more or less, how that works. That's grounded. Um, yeah, I think I covered all the bases. Couldn't cover many, many more bases than that. Um, you've got, uh, let's see, a, a red battery positive. That goes to the coil positive wire. That's how you pick up your battery positive. That goes to B and to W. Then there's a small resistor, a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor that's going, I soldered it directly to the terminal along the edge of it so the clip could still slide over it. And there it goes around and connects to the one B terminal of the NPN power transistor. And what else? Some staples to hold things together, some wire staples that didn't necessarily go in. And then there's the uh, that white wire coming off of B that goes to the basically it's the uh, it's the trigger wire on the points. So that trigger wire goes to the transistor. And the transistor is grounded. And the transistor has a connection to G. I don't understand how it works. I don't remember my electronics, but there's the coil wire C on there. I think you can see it says C. It goes to the coil. I've got it labeled there coil negative. And if you can see, it's kind of glary of the light. Um, let's go over here. Coil negative. That's coil negative. That's battery positive. And it's just all mounted on a garden stake. So I pre-drilled eighth inch holes for the two probes coming off of here and for here and for here. So pre-drilled four holes. You can find the spacing using a micrometer can find the spacing online and then I drew on here what the different terminals were to keep everything straight and then this I mounted to the heat sink there and screwed it on down to the wood so everything's in, grounded and fastened. The actual heat sink you can see there's some thermal grease in there um, so I hope it's all well grounded I think it is. There's a ground yeah there's a piece of metal there so that's it's good grounded because there's a uh, ringlets that these are passing through so so this is grounded there's your ground wire transistors grounded too and then you've got your various connections W G I guess for green in this case <laughs> and B for battery and C for coil. So yeah, the entire electronic ignition system. Should do it and then I just have to figure out where to mount the stake to the 
generator. Now I've sprayed everything in acrylic. It's one of the reasons why everything's so shiny in the camera is that I've used clear acrylic spray, which is a way to waterproof circuit boards and circuits. Um, does a pretty good job. You could also use that uh, rubberized uh, clear coat. Yeah. That's it.